Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why I think Windows 11 Bootcamp is dead on Mac. So what is Bootcamp? Bootcamp is the support for native booting of Windows on Intel Macs. Often the transition from the more popular Windows operating system to Mac is tough on many users, as some applications they relied on are not available on macOS. Therefore, Bootcamp was a reliable way of running Windows applications, in particular games, where there are a lot more on the Windows platform than on macOS. Apple used to love making fun of Windows, claiming that Microsoft copied its designs. But at the same time, it has had a long history of supporting Windows Boot Camp, which was first introduced in 2006 and allowed support all the way from Windows XP to Windows 10 today. However, it looks like Boot Camp is going to end with the arrival of Windows 11. This is because Windows 11 now carries a brand new hardware requirement for TPM 2.0, which is most commonly found in Intel and AMD CPUs made after 2015, which can protect user information cryptographically and separately from the rest of your data. And unfortunately, Macs simply don't have the support for TPN 2.0. In theory, it should be possible to allow Intel and Macs to make use of the PTT, which is Intel's version of the TPM. However, current Intel Macs do not have the firmware necessary to unlock TPM 2.0. And because Apple are now eight months into their two year transition period from Intel to Apple Silicon, it's extremely unlikely that Apple will take any steps to fix the TPM 2.0 issue. Well, what about the T2 chip? This is Apple's non-standard proprietary security module, which can perform a similar function to the TPM and could potentially be used to provide security for a bootcamp in Windows 11. However, this is incredibly unlikely because Apple keeps their T2 chip closely guarded for security reasons and is extremely unlikely to provide drivers for this just to allow Windows 11 to boot into the M1. Apple is focused solely on their own Apple Silicon computers. It would make no sense for them whatsoever to dedicate resources to fix the Intel bootcamp TPM issue. And how about Apple Silicon Macs like the M1 chip? Once again, Apple Silicon Macs do not have support for TPM 2.0. In theory, Windows could potentially make use of the M1 secure enclave, which acts in a similar way to the T2 chip, but is integrated into the Apple SoC. This secure enclave can in theory provide the cryptographic security functionalities of a TPM 2.0 and meet Windows 11 security requirements. However, again, this would require Apple to open up access to the secure enclave to Microsoft, which is extremely unlikely given the resources required and the security risks. Well then, what are the options that could make Bootcamp possible? Well firstly, Microsoft could back down and remove the requirements for TPM 2.0 and simply make it optional. This would open up Windows 11 not just to Intel Macs, but also to other older PC CPUs that could have easily run Windows 10 as well as Windows 11. However, it seems that Microsoft are doing the exact opposite. They are doubling down on the system requirements, confusingly changing documentation from the more common TPM 1.2 to the stricter, newer TPM 2.0. Of course, some workarounds have been discovered that allow the installation of Windows 11 on non-TPM 2.0 hardware. For example, we can modify a Windows 10 installer with files from Windows 11 preview and effectively trick the computer into installing Windows 11 and bypassing the TPM 2.0 requirement. However, it is possible that Microsoft will eventually block the installation of Windows 11 on non-TPM 2.0 hardware, and there's no guarantee that the current workarounds will still function on the full release of Windows 11 at the end of 2021. If Microsoft won't back down on the TPM 2.0 requirement and Apple won't provide access to the secure enclave, then there is no hope that Apple would ever even consider writing their own drivers necessary to get Windows 11 to work on any future Macs through Bootcamp, through Intel, or through any other future Mac hardware. And this includes the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and also all future Apple Silicon Mac computers. If Microsoft won't even allow the licensing of Windows 11 ARM for any hardware that does not meet the operating system's TPM 2.0 minimum requirements, then there is no hope that Apple would even begin to write the drivers necessary to get Windows 11 ARM to work natively on the Apple Silicon Macs. This is because Windows 11 would require extensive drivers to be written for all aspects of the hardware, including screens, keyboards, Wi-Fi modules, Bluetooth, graphics drivers, etc. It will not be possible for Apple to dedicate resources to writing these drivers if they don't have a Windows 11 license from Microsoft because they don't have TPM 2.0 supported. So ultimately, it's very sad to say, but this means that the future of Bootcamp is effectively dead. Existing Intel Bootcamp users will be able to continue using Windows 10 on their Macs, but there is no real upgrade path to Windows 11. And for M1 Mac users, there is really no hope for Bootcamp on the M1 Mac and any future Apple Silicon computer. This is a real shame, as I know a lot of people have been waiting patiently for this feature, as booting Windows 11 ARM natively would be the only true way to use Windows applications on the M1 with the greatest level of compatibility and performance. It used to be the case that if you had a Mac and you needed a Windows application to work, you always had the option to boot into a native version of Windows on the same hardware. 
This would make it possible to have a choice to run macOS or Windows whenever you wanted to. You could use macOS to access Final Cut Pro and then switch out to Boot Camp if you wanted to play a game like Cyberpunk 2077, which is only available on Windows. The good news is that it is still possible to virtualize Windows 11 ARM on the M1 long term in the future, despite the fact that TPM 2.0 will be a requirement. Furthermore, Parallels are developing a virtual TPM in their virtual machine software, which will be available for pro users, which will allow a Windows 11 to be virtualized even if Microsoft hardens their TPM 2.0 requirements at the time of the full release later in 2021. If you see my last video, I demonstrate how to install the preview build of Windows 11 ARM in a virtual machine through Parallels, and it is possible to run very demanding applications and games, despite the fact that this is a virtual machine. For example, here I am running Hitman Absolution, which is a 64-bit game being emulated on an ARM operating system, being run in a virtual machine on the ARM M1 chip on Mac with a 10 watt SoC. This is all thanks to the virtual machine software Parallels, which can run Windows 10 and 11 ARM fantastically on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you followed any of my videos in the past, you'll see that I've made a whole series of Parallels gaming benchmark videos, and you can actually run full games like Far Cry completely virtualized through this virtual machine and the frame rates are actually quite impressive. All of this footage is recorded on my M1 MacBook Air 2020. In this video here, I'm showing Battlefield 3's campaign, and it's actually also possible to play the multiplayer on here too. And the frame rates are not too bad considering how much emulation and virtualization is going on. And we've also managed to discover a way to get Overwatch to work competitively so that you can play a proper online multiplayer match. This was achieved by de-bloating the ARM operating system. And so if you'd like to see how to do this, please follow the link in my description. So Parallels pretty much remains the only real solution to running Windows games and applications on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac going forward. Right now they have a birthday sale, which is 25% off. This is only valid for the next day or so, so please check it out. If you follow the link in the description, you'll be taken to the discount page and you'll also be helping me out if you decide to pay for the software. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've been working on an M1 gaming compatibility list and this lists everything from Parallels and Crossover and Rosetta and native games that can run on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Please follow the link in the description to find that compatibility list. If you discover any new information, you can just add it to the wiki. No account is required. If you need any help, we'll be available on my Discord. In conclusion, it's very, very disappointing that Boot Camp is probably never going to come to the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And to be honest, I'd really love to be proven wrong. I'd really love for Microsoft and Apple to come together and figure out a way to get this to work. It's really a benefit to the consumer, but you know, it's kind of hard to see the corporate interests that lie here and how they are going to conflict over this. After all, the M1 Apple Silicon Mac is a far superior ARM chip than say the SQ2, which is in the Surface Pro X. And I'm not sure that Microsoft would be too happy that if they did license Windows 11 ARM, that people would be buying them in droves and then buying an M1 Apple Silicon Mac and installing on that instead of their Surface Pro X line. So there's definitely some competition involved in this. So do you think I'm wrong about Bootcamp coming to the M1 Apple Silicon Mac? Do you think that Microsoft and Apple will be able to figure out a proper solution? Please leave a comment if you have any thoughts about what I've said. I really do hope that I'm wrong, but I think this is the reality of the situation. If you like my videos, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.